Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to tell you how to set up your Cubo smart home security camera. So as you can see, we have the camera itself set up right here. This is, a, this is the documentation that comes and this is very important actually. Uh, and you have your power cable and you have your adapter. Okay, And I have a smartphone which I'm going to actually install the app on uh, to pair with the Cubo smartphone camera. What you will need, now you will need a Wi-Fi network. Uh, you need greater than 2 Mbps network upload speeds. You would require an iOS 11 or higher device. For Android, you need Android 5.1 or higher for this to, to work. Uh, you will require an SD card and it says a maximum of 128 GB. So step one is you plug in your Cubo home security camera. So this is pretty easy. Uh, I shall remove this. Take out the wire. Uh, this is a USB to USB. It just plugs in like that. I'm plugging it in right now off the camera. Now, this is the camera. This Now, if you look carefully over here, you will see two pins. And there are two pins here also and they kind of align like that so this is the power adapter once that happens is you also have this little locking mechanism here which actually you can lock the camera with and now it's locked and secured so once it's powered up i'm placing it like that you can actually see a red camera light blinking. is ready for setup and there you go it gives a message saying the camera is ready for setup now you need to take your smartphone. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn on screen recording on my smartphone so I can actually show you. Okay, so we are now recording our screen and you need to open up your camera app on your smartphone. And there's a little QR code given right here. So you just point your camera app at the QR code and there you go. cuboworld.com slash apps. You click that and I have an Android device. As you see, it opens up in Google Play. I will click install and the app is going to download. So the app is finally downloaded. I'm going to open the app. Let it run in the background, allow. So you need to first give the app some permissions. Then you need to register yourself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sign in with Google for sake of convenience. I'll choose my account. I put my mobile number, agree and click submit. Uh, now you will get an OTP which will come. There you go, I got the OTP. So once you've entered your OTP, you press continue. The OTP has been verified successfully. And now you can add a device. So once the app is actually downloaded and you've actually registered with either your Google password or you create your own account, you need to go to home security down here. Now, as you see, you will see this coming up and it says, is red light continuously blinking on your home security camera? And yes, the red light is continuously blinking up there. So I will go yes, and you give it a name. So let's say uh, living room. Okay, uh, select the living room. Okay, continue. Allow all the time. Now it's asking you to select the network. So this is where you will have to enter the network that you have it on. Uh, I'm currently in ESG, so I will click that. Password is... And uh, it's asking me to Add the device. Okay, so now this QR code opens, opens up on your phone. You actually have to scan the device. QR code scanned. Please and wait. There you go. The QR code has been scanned. You get a prompt. And as you can see, it's adding the device. You just have to wait. There's, some, there's an animation playing on the screen, which is showing some places where you can keep the camera. So you can put it on your wall, you can keep it on a, on a bookshelf, you can keep it on a cabinet. And congratulations, your device is now connected. So let's press continue. And you will probably just see the output right now. It's, you're gonna see the camera, you're gonna see a lot of other stuff since we're shooting this in our office. Okay, so this is the this is how you connect it to Alexa. We'll probably do that in a, in a separate video. 
So I'm not going to connect it to Alexa Shopper right now. Is ready for use now. And there's a gold plan that also comes, which is worth 99 rupees per month. And this gold plan gives you 2 GB of video storage for up to 7 days and 3 members can access the device at the same time. So this is pretty useful if you want to actually uh, sort of go back and it stores data on the cloud. Let me click activate. And continue. So here you go. So I am now in. play and this is the output so if I click on this for example you can actually go full screen and you can see what the device is seeing so as you can see there's my smartphone and that's how the output so I'll actually just place it like this and you can actually see a little bit of the office where we're actually shooting this video and there's some pretty nifty features on here there's a sound off button, you can actually talk, it appears you can click a still, you can turn on the mic on and off, it's live and it even detects a face. So there you go, thank you for watching this video, that was how you set up and install the Cubo home security camera.